What's good, everybody? It's your boy Salute the General Ray. Check out Peaky Blinders Season 3, Episode 4. Let's get it. John, I have to say this. You can name your new baby after them if you like. Hello. Arthur, I won't even ask. So his name dies. It's been in the family for a long time, but now it's gone. Right, that's done. Fuck it. I doubt he's even dead, man. Chib is gonna come back. I wish to confess. There's no confessional today. The name shall be. Man, Shelby's even roughing God. <laughs> no, fuck. Does this way of excusing a murder still work? If the life that is going to be taken is a consecrated man. He's a man of the cloth. He's a holy man. What kind of holy man? <sighs> He's definitely shady. Your hands are shaking. She's out here getting fucked up and she's five months pregnant. How do we know this foolish man will hand over the diamonds when we're done? We don't. That's another business. Right. Let's cook some meat. Oh, what you thinking about, Arthur? I thought I'd offer you my physical and spiritual support for your time if need. Oh, Linda, if you want to be a help, run up to the shops and get me 20 senior service. Lizzie will give you the change. And shut the fuck up. If you. Not a message from God, Polly. It's from Jesse Eden. Who's Jesse Eden? Hey, who the fuck is Jesse Eden? All oppressed female workers welcome. Them bastards down there shooting dear me five months ago and sat here like a pudding. Only one outside lavatory between the lot of us. Not consulted. Bent over a fucking desk. Ladies, I honestly believe those who march on Good Friday will have God on their side. Who knocking on the door like that? That's a nasty squad right there. <laughs> a killer, prostitute, a five month old pregnant chick snorting coke and opium. There's madness inside your head too, I can see that. Let the Duchess show you something. He was slipping. What's up with this crazy bitch? It's all right, sir. Should I pour whiskey? Yes, no. he will have whiskey and I will... Yeah. He will have whiskey and I will have wine. Yo. <laughs> There's a call after midnight. The maid who comes in is the one in love with the master, but she is This is not fucking Russia! Please, Mary, go back to bed. This bitch is crazy. I am the first one who understands you. Yeah, you'd be picking some wild ones, Tommy. From now on, you must do everything that you want to do. Okay, okay. Got the crazy Russian duchess. She took your car? She what? She was in a terrible hurry. She said she had your permission. She told David to go to the garage to get a new tire for the Bentley. She said you could use that. Why the hell would you listen to her, eh? Right? The way she said it, sir. I guess he, he came up some. 
You were correct not to talk over the phone. What did she say? She said there was going to be a killing. A holy man. And she was with the Shelby's, was she? Fucking Polly, man. That Bentley is done right now. What the fuck this priest and guy set up, man? Hmm. Break his jaw? I hope it was his jaw. What the fuck, Polly? Where am I? You are among the odd fellows. Please count from ten to one. Ah, oh, fuck you. How the fuck is he gonna get out of this situation? You do as we say. Or we will take your son. Hear this. We will take your son. We can do it at any moment. We have people in your life. You will make your apology to me tomorrow night. And you will repair the damage you've done. Or you will never see your son again. Tell Dave to bring the car around when I go to London. Sir. And get me some tea, Mary. Yes, sir. She's probably the damn Russian. I mean, the priest's contact right there. What did they give him? But he looks like a uh, fucking zombie. Yes, Arthur. And get me a meeting with someone from the Soviet embassy tonight. Your place, it's in here, it's in Pian. <laughs> the fuck does the note say? Father Hughes, I'm heartily sorry for having offended you. Because of your just punishment, most of all because they offend you. Father Hughes, who are all good and deserving of my deserving of my love. I finally resolved to. I can't wait, wait till we kill this motherfucker. I wanted to, to avoid all the occasions of sin. Why would they want us to know? They want you to. They want you to stop the robbery. They want you to commit a violent act on British soil. I mean, if you want water. A violent act on British soil. Mean, what the fuck did they give him? To force the British government to break off diplomatic relations. If I'm not conscious when I get there, tell them I have a fractured skull, concussion, and a general bleed. I think I may have hemorrhage. Tommy. I do come on, be quick as I can't see. Okay. I'm fucking sick. Okay. Okay. Damn, are we about to lose Tommy? So that was his skull cracking that we heard. I thought it was like his jaw or something, but obviously it wasn't his jaw, but damn. So he got a concussion, head probably bleeding, 
he needs a doctor ASAP. Yeah, that fucking priest, man. I can't stand that motherfucker. And what, Polly, what made you go to church and go fucking confess that a holy man was going to get murdered? Come on, man. Yo, y'all got to be smarter, man. If it ain't Arthur fucking telling his wife all kind of shit. Polly running her mouth. Shit is all fucked up. And then uh, John's wife, the pregnant cocaine using bitch, <laughs> want to fucking try to steal some money. John caught her ass, thankfully. Damn, man. I hope fucking Tommy don't die, man. That'd be fucking terrible, man. But overall, it was a dope episode. I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and check on out. If you enjoyed it, bam, hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure to share and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section what you thought. And I'll catch y'all later. Salute the general. Gone.